Hello everyone, Bridget Ayer here. I'm talking quietly because everybody's asleep in my house today still. Um, it's Memorial Day and I wanted to share something with you that I thought was really interesting that I learned in the last month um, or so. Well, I want to, first of all, I want to thank all of our servicemen and women who serve uh, in the United States Armed Forces. I want to thank you so much for your service because without you, uh, we would not be able to have the freedoms that we have in this country. There isn't any country in the world like the United States. Um, my dad was very patriotic and very much instilled that in me that um, there isn't any place in the world like the United States. And I think many of us, and myself included, take that for granted. So thank you to all of our servicemen and women who both lost their lives and who serve us every day faithfully to keep, um, to allow us to have our way of life. And that is very important because as Christians, as Catholics, we have religious freedom like no other place in the world. Um, I know some of those are, have been under attack lately, but we still have a tremendous amount of religious freedom. Here I am on YouTube, I have a blog, Catholic Radio, there's all these different ways that we can share the good news, and we can do that because we're free. So thank you um, to all of our servicemen and women who serve us so faithfully uh, in the armed services. That brings me to our topic um, today, and it's going to be, I'm not, this is not going to be very long, but I wanted to share something with you that's really been interesting. Um, military chaplains. Um, military chaplains in the Catholic faith are, um, there's actually a diocese for military chaplains. So, um, the, there's a diocese, of, the Archdiocese of Military Chaplains, it's actually physically located. Um, the headquarters are in Washington, D.C., but that diocese really is worldwide because any, um, any priest or religious brother that serves as a military chaplain to one of our armed services is in that diocese. So that was one thing I learned. Um, the other thing I learned, uh, and I will put a link to the interview I did, I did a 30 minute interview with um, several high ranking military officers, commanders, generals, all that, um, talking about a topic of military chaplains. And there's, <clears throat> there are two great books I want to recommend to you. Um, Father Vincent Capadano, he is, he served in um, Vietnam from 1966 to 1967. He died in battle as a military chaplain. He was a priest. He was called the Grunt Padre. I'm going to go ahead and put that up there. And I'll see if I can and put some other pictures up there. But, I mean, most people, if you've ever watched MASH, who, um, Father Mulcahy, he was the military chaplain. And the military chaplain doesn't have to be a priest. It can be... Um, um, any pastor or any um, religious person, you don't have to, it could be like a rabbi, it could be um, any, any type of, um, you don't have to be Catholic to be a military chaplain, but I'm talking about Catholic military chaplains. But um, Father Vincent Capadano, his sainthood cause is underway. He and um, several other priests received the Gold Medal of Honor, I believe it's called, for uh, valiant service in the line of duty. And I'm not sure if I'm using that those words right. But here's another book, Heroic Catholic Chaplains. And so as we, as we think about Memorial Day and we think about people who serve our country, the... Christian or Catholic side of that to a certain extent is to think about our military chaplains and what they do and there's that's just a whole other area of um, of our Catholic faith that we don't really think about unless we are in the armed services or know someone who's in the armed services and that's just something really cool that um, Catholic priests do and I want to shout out to um, 
Hi, Father Josh Janko. He's a, a friend of our family, and we did youth ministry with him back in the day. But he is a military chaplain currently serving the U.S. Air Force Academy. So um, that's a really cool gig. But if you don't know anything about military chaplains, it's really fascinating. I have these two books. I'll put them back up um, on that. You, I'll put them back up so that you can see them. And I'll also add some links about military chaplains. Um, I'll do a Catholic radio interview that I had here locally and some other resources so you can learn more about military chaplains and pray for them as they serve um, our armed services, serve the spiritual needs of, of those in um, the armed services and they serve all the needs of the, of the, of the people that they're um, assigned to. They don't necessarily have to be Catholic to be served by the priest or the military chaplain. But that's just something I wanted to share with you. It came across my desk and um, I hope you'll get something from that. So God bless. Bye-bye.